Hello everybody and welcome to the Orion Studio Vintage FX tutorial and how to use the Vintage FX inside Pro Tools as insert points. Here you can see the Orion Studio control panel with the input section and the output section. I made my own custom output section in order to use the Vintage FX as insert inside Pro Tools. As you can see, for the AFX in row, I made the Thunderbolt playback buses 17 through 32 as input for the vintage effects 17 through 32. And for the output of the vintage effects, and I used the bus 1 through 16 AFX output, which are patched into the Thunderbolt recording output 17 through 32. I made another patch for the Oroverb and as you know the Oroverb is in mix 1 so I used the bus 15 and 16 from the Thunderbolt playback for the sense for my reverb and the return which are mix one left and right and I rename it oververb left and oververb right as bus 15 and 16 for the Thunderbolt recording. So this is everything about the control panel and how to routing everything inside Pro Tools and I'm using the Thunderbolt connection that's why I'm using the Thunderbolt buses. And so let's see how we patch everything inside Pro Tools as insert points. Let's go into Pro Tools in the setup window, the IO section. Let's go into the insert. And as you can see, I already patched everything. And buses 15 and 16 are the Orverb and I rename it. And bus 17 through 32 are my other buses to use, to use wherever. Uh, vintage effects of my choice of my choice whenever I need it and I didn't rename it uh, because I, I don't know what what effects I'm gonna use all the time so uh, I just leave the number as, as it is so this is everything about the IO section inside Pro Tools let's go into a track and let's see then how it works I have this arpeggio track with this, which is uh, an acoustic guitar and uh, I'm gonna use the insert 17 I select from the IO window insert 17 and which is uh, Thunderbolt bus Thunderbolt play 17 into my Orion studio control panel and I already made my chain for this acoustic guitar and everything is bypassed right now. Oh, one thing, uh, I can just bypass the effect chain just from the Orion Studio. I can't bypass from the software, but it, this is the same as if you're using an analog piece of gear or an external digital effects, you can't bypass effects as insert from the software but in this case from the Orion Studio control panel. So I made my choices of effects for this acoustic guitar. I used first of all a filter, this HLF filter which sounds pretty good. It's uh, a tube filter and I removed the rumbling and some top ends from this acoustic guitar. Then I, I had some harmonic content using the Helios 69 emulation of the famous equalizer on the great console at the Olympic Studios in London and just add some crunchy sound there for 100 Hz and then I make consistent the dynamic of the track using the 1176. Now I use 1176 from all the companies and everything is on the market and I have to say this is sounds amazing. This 1176 is, is one of the best, uh, almost like the original piece of gear. So let's listen how, how everything works. This is the dry guitar.
and everything sound cleaner, crunchier, and has a consistent dynamics. And I'm I'm not experiencing any any phase issues or distortion or anything like that. Everything sounds clean. So if I want to use the uh, in order to use the Oliver, I just have to open a sand to uh, the Oliver truck that I already made. Right here you can see my Oliver truck which is an ox and uh, this is my sand return which are bus 15 and 16 and just send the Oliver uh, just send the signal to the Oliver in order to use the effect don't forget to put down the fader into the mix one uh, because otherwise you're gonna double monitor the dry signal of the guitar but we just want to hear the wet signal coming back from the reverb and I'm gonna use this preset the acoustic guitar thickener uh, because it sounds good but you can use whatever reverb of your choice or make your own preset with all the parameters let's hear This is how to use the Oroverb. The Oroverb is a pretty nice uh, digital effects and reverb, uh, shimmering and spacing. Uh, it sounds very natural. It doesn't add any digital artifacts to the tail of the reverb. Another thing that we can do with the insert point is basically reamping the guitar with the guitar effects inside the Orion Studio. And. Uh, uh, you can reamp whatever guitar of your choice. If you record a DI guitar or you recorded a guitar with a microphone or even if you, if you record an acoustic guitar as I did, uh, you can reamp it and listen what's, uh, and try to achieve what you want to create with the, your own sound. So for this purpose I'm going to use insert 18 which is Thunderbolt Play 18 inside the Orion studio and I already made uh, a kind of sound with this modeling of amplifier let's hear how it sounds extremely creative so with the Orion studio especially if you connect it by uh, via Thunderbolt you have the lowest latency possible and then you can use the proprietary hardware control base by Antelope Audio called the FGPA field programmable gate array which is a really powerful CPU of the audio interface itself. This means that you save a lot of CPU power from your computer and you can use uh, 16 instances of FX chains, really high quality FX, very high quality FX. They, uh, are, they sound uh, with a lot of dynamic, they add a lot of harmonic content and they are very consistent so they sound very natural uh, of course you can use 
uh, the Orion Studio as insert, uh, you can use the Orion Studio Vintage FX as insert in any DAW of your choice, any digital audio workstation of your choice, either Cubase, Logic X, uh, Ableton, or uh, as I'm using right now, Pro Tools, because any digital audio workstation is ready to receive inserts points. Thank you for watching guys. Feel free to ask any question you want here on YouTube and hope you enjoy and have fun with the Orion Studio.